Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahava is our power and authority. yud heh vad -Heh works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahava with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you need. Psalms, one, six, Psalms 16 through 20. A miktam by David. Protect me, God, for you are my refuge. I said to Yahava, you are my Lord. I have nothing good outside of you. The holy people of the land are the ones who are worthy of honor. All my pleasure is in them. Those who run after another God multiply their sorrows. To such gods I will not offer drink offerings of blood or take their names on my lips. Yahava, my assigned portion, my cup, you safeguard my share. Pleasant places are measured out for me. I am content with my heritage. I bless Yahava, my counselor. At night, my inmost being instructs me. I always set Yahava before me. With him at my right hand, I can never be moved. So my heart is glad. My glory rejoices, and my body too rests in safety. For you will not abandon me to Sheol. You will not let your faithful one see the abyss. You make me know the path of life. In your presence is unbounded joy. In your right hand, eternal delight. A prayer of David. Hear a just cause, Yahava. Heed my cry. Listen to my prayer from honest lips. Let my vindication come from you. Let your eyes see what is right. You probed my heart. You visited me at night. And you assayed me without finding evil thoughts. That should not pass my lips. As for what others do, my words, by words from your lips, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent. My steps hold steadily to your paths. My feet do not slip. How, now I call on you, God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me. Hear my word. Show how wonderful is your grace. Savior of all those who seek at your right hand refuge from their foes. Protect me like the pupil of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are assailing me, from my deadly enemies who are all around me. They close their hearts to compassion. They speak arrogantly with their mouths. They track me down. They surround me. They watch for the chance to bring me to the ground. They are like lions eager to tear the prey, like young lions crouching in ambush. Arise, Yahweh, confront them, bring them down. With your sword, deliver me from the wicked. With your hand, Yahweh, from human beings, from people whose portion in life is this world. You fill their stomachs with your treasure. Their children will be satisfied too and will leave their wealth to their little ones. But my prayer is, in righteousness is to see your face on waking. May I be satisfied with a vision of you. From the leader by David, the servant of Yahava, who addressed the words of this song to Yahava on the day when Yahava delivered him from the power of all his enemies, including from the power of Shaul, he said, I love you, Yahava, my strength. Yahweh is my rock, my fortress and deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I find shelter, my shield, the power that saves me, my stronghold. I call on Yahweh, who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. From the cords of death surrounded me, the floods of Bilial terrified me. The ropes of Sheol were wrapped around me. The snares of death lay there before me. In my distress, I called to Yahweh. I cried out to my God. Out of his temple, he heard my voice. 
my cry reached his ears. Then the earth quaked and shook. The foundations of the mountains trembled. They were shaken because he was angry. Smoke arose in his nostrils. Out of his mouth came devouring fire. Sparks blazed forth from him. He lowered heaven and came down with thick darkness under his feet. He rode on a karoo. He flew swooping down on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy thick clouds dark with water. From the brightness before him, there broke through his thick clouds, hailstones and fiery coals. Yahava also thundered in heaven. Ha Elyon sounded his voice, hailstones and fiery coals. He sent out his arrows and scattered them, shout out lightnings and routed them. The channels of the water appeared. The foundations of the world were exposed at your rebuke, Yahava, at the blast of the breath from your nostrils. He sent from on high. He took me and pulled me out of deep water. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, those who hated me, and they were stronger than I. They came against me on my day of disaster, but Yahweh was my support. He brought me out to an open place. He rescued me because he took pleasure in me. Yahweh rewarded me for my uprightness. He repaid me because my hands were clean. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh. I have not done evil by leaving my God. For all his rulings were before me. I did not distance his regulations from me. I was pure-hearted with him and kept myself from my sin. Hence Yahweh repaid me for my uprightness according to the purity of my hands and his view. With the merciful, you are merciful. With a man who is sincere, you are sincere. With the pure, you are pure. But with the crooked, you are, cur- are cunning. People afflicted, you save, but haughty eyes you humble. For you, Yahweh, light my lamp. Yahweh, my God, lights up my darkness. With you, I can run through a whole troop of men. With my God, I can leap a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh has been tested by fire. He shields all those who take refuge in him. For who is God but Yahweh? Who is a rock but our God? It is God who girds me with strength. He makes my way go straight. He makes me swift, sure-footed as a deer and enables me to stand on my high places. He trains my hands for war until my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You give me your shield, which is salvation. Your right hand holds me up. Your humility makes me great. You lengthen the steps I can take, yet my ankles do not turn. I persuaded my enemies and overlooked them without turning back until they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they, can, they can't get up. They have fallen under my feet, for you braced me with strength for the battle and bent down my adversaries beneath me. You made my enemies turn their backs in fight, and I destroyed those who hated me. They cried out, but there was no one to help, even to Yahweh, but he didn't answer. I pulverized them like dust in the wind, threw them out like mud in the streets. You also freed, freed me from the quarrels of my people. You made me head of the nations, a people I did not know. Now serve me. The moment they hear of me, they obey me. Foreigners come cringing to me. Foreigners lose heart as they come trembling from their fortresses. Yahweh is alive. Blessed is my rock. Exalted be the God of my salvation, the God who avenges me and subdues peoples under me. He delivers me from my enemies. He lifts high above my enemies. He lifts me high above my enemies. You rescue me from violent men. So I give thanks to you, Yahweh, among the nations. I sing praises to your name. Great salvation he gives to his king. He displays grace to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. For the leader, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The dome of the sky speaks the work of his hands. Every day it utters speech. Every night it reveals knowledge. Without speech, without a word, without their voices being heard, their line goes out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. 
In them he places a tent for the sun, which, which comes out like a bridegroom from the bridal chamber. He delights with delight like an athlete to run his race. It rises at one side of the sky, circles around to the other side, and nothing escapes its heat. The Torah of Yahava is perfect, restoring the inner person. The instruction of Adonai, Yahava, is sure, making wise the thoughtless. The precepts of Yahava are right, rejoicing the heart. The mitzvah of Yahava is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yadhe is clean, enduring forever. The rulings of Yahava are true, they are righteous altogether, more desirable than gold, than much fine gold, also sweeter than honey or dripping from the honeycomb. Through them your servant is warned. In obeying them there is great reward. Who can discern unintentional sins? Cleanse me from the hidden faults. Also keep your servant from presumptuous sins, so that they won't control me. Then I will be blameless and free of great offense. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart be acceptable in the presence, in your presence, Yahava, my rock and my redeemer. For the leader, a psalm of David. May Yadhe Vadhe answer me in times of distress. May the name of God, the God of Yaakov protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he be reminded by all your grain offerings and accept the fat of your burnt offerings. May he grant you your heart's desire and bring all your plans to succeed. Then we will shout for joy at your victory and fly our flags in the name of our God. May Yadhevadhe hey, fulfill all your requests. Now I know that Yahava gives victory to his anointed one. He will answer him from his holy heaven with mighty victories by his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we praise the name of Yadhevadhe, hey, our God. They will crumble and fall, but we will arise and stand erect. Give victory, Yadhevadhe. Hey. Let the king answer us the day we call. End with Arionic blessing. Yet Vadhe will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.